It's what I like to call an East Texas scorcher out there today. It's been a hot day, the sun beating down and the humidity up. So it's a good idea to be inside watching the news right now to catch a break from the heat. We'll start this evening with important advice to keep in mind as you and your little ones have fun in the sun this weekend. Heat exhaustion is something Dr. Eric Higginbotham often sees early on in the summer as kids are getting used to the heat, especially the younger ones. Heat exhaustion uh, happens frequently in kids less than four, where they tend to be one of the highest uh, risk groups in infants. Heat exhaustion is when your body loses too much water. Look for the warning signs of feeling lightheaded or faint. And if you don't treat that quickly, it could lead to another emergency heat stroke where you can no longer regulate your body can no longer regulate that amount of heat and then you can actually have seizures and that can be a life threatening uh, condition. Even a sunburn early on in childhood can be threatening because even just you know single sunburns where you're peeling that can drastically increase your, your risk of skin cancer down the line. The CDC says just one blistering sunburn as a child doubles your risk of skin cancer later in life. And the other cases Dr. Higginbotham sees in the summer, kids left in hot cars. And that is disastrous. Um, and so while we're talking around heat related injuries, that's the one where you want to make sure that you're 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 vigilant uh, about preventing. The doctor says all those heat related emergencies can be prevented if you know what and who to look out for. And that was Sally on Montez with some really good pointers there.